Hi, I'm former Oregon State Representative Jeff Krupp and Chairman of the Board of Oregon Connections Academy, Oregon's first K-12 virtual online public charter school. Over the next few minutes, you're going to be hearing from principal, teachers, and most importantly, our parents and students about what a powerful opportunity an online virtual public education can be. To provide a class which studies whole literature um, the way they're doing for the gifted students at ORCA is just a, a tremendous gift. It's wonderful. She's able to meet once a week with um, a group of other students who are similar in ability. And they're able to talk about literature at a high school or even college level. Um, these are seventh grade kids. That's amazing. She went from a hate and a loathing of reading to an absolute joy of it. So she begs to go to the library every week, two or three times a week. ORCA has a tremendous curriculum. It's a wonderful choice for our family. Um, they do have socialization. They do field trips. Uh, they have contact with their teachers, wonderful teachers in ORCA. Um, we submit some of their work to the teachers, so we're not on our own. Um, I don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to fall behind. I just love those moments, and they, um, if they love a subject, then they, they'll go do a couple of assignments in that subject that day, maybe. You know, I did all of, to, all of this week's science or whatever, just, and that's exciting that they want to do more than, you know, what's being asked of them that day. The Oregon Connections Academy teachers are top notch. I can tell you that there has never, ever, we have been in Connections Academy, or Oregon Connections Academy for four years. This is our fourth year. We have never, ever had a teacher that's had a bad day. It doesn't make any difference if you have learning disabilities, if you're a high achiever, or somebody in the middle of the road. This program uh, will meet your needs. He was a slow reader at the beginning. But having as so much time and the focus on it, we were able to really work on those essential skills. I think that uh, virtual schooling and online school it, you know, is the way to go for many kids. It's not for everybody, um, just like the traditional schools aren't for everybody. This, uh, this needs to be an option in our state. One of the things we're excited about with Connections Academy is Laura being able to work at her own pace. Uh, this year she started kindergarten and by December she had already finished her kindergarten math. I feel that Oregon Connections Academy is so important especially with my kids is because I have kids that work at different levels. Some of them are at grade level, some of them are above grade level. Um, if they're below grade level I have that flexibility. I know I have the security that they are going to be educated and they can make it. We have, I think, the best highly qualified teachers in the state of Oregon and maybe in the, maybe in the uh, great Northwest that are, that are willing and able and qualified to work with children of all learning abilities. Like this past week I had a science project that I wasn't quite sure what I had to do so I went to his live lesson and he was a able to explain it step by step for me right then and there. I'm able to um, get a lot of background in the families and, and learn a lot about the families and um, become a, just create a, a great bond that goes beyond the school year um, into the summer and the, and the coming years. One thing that I really like about it is I like being able to communicate more freely with my parents and being more available. I think that's a big part of my job. We've developed a relationship with that teacher because now this is our second year with her. She knows our kids and when they call they often want to talk you know to the kids and see how they're doing and I feel totally comfortable emailing or calling. Oregon Connections Academy operates just like a traditional public school. We're nationally accredited, we have a school board, we have certified teachers and an approved curriculum. We offer site reviews, financial oversight and we get results. My students have to take the Oaks writing exam, which is the Oregon State writing exam. And last year, we had approximately an 82-83% pass rate for the state writing exam, which is off the charts fabulous. 
And it really goes to show that the efforts that the teachers, that the students, and that the parents and learning coaches put in really comes back and is paid in dividends to these students. It's all about the accountability, it's all about the effort and the opportunity, and ORCA provides these students that fabulous opportunity. Any student that's in Oregon Connections Academy, you know that they're getting what they need. They fulfill state standards, the guidelines are there, the rubrics are there, and the teachers are there, and they'll remind you. They're not going to let you fall behind. We liked that ORCA has accountability. We have required hours, we have required work. Um, it's a, a top-notch curriculum, but it is a public school. The people that we've seen online, we're able to meet in person when we get to the field trips, or um, I'm sure we'll have another ORCA day at the Capitol, and it's a lot of fun to see everybody from all over the state coming together and um, basically supporting each other. We love the experience we've had here. We've had the opportunity to go to a number of field trips, uh, everything from going to um, Fire Mountain Gems and Beads down in, in the Grants Pass area, uh, being able to go up to um, OMSI in, in Portland. So what's been the, the very best thing about being in ORCA? Fun. Yeah. And he tells everybody about his teachers. He has an identity. He has a school. He's not left out. And that's what ORCA provides for our kids. It's just a, a community of belonging. I like school also because um, you can see your friends and it's, well, fun. <laughs> I'm Sherry Long, and the reason I was put into Orca is because I wanted to go to a public school. But we knew that I couldn't go to a brick and mortar school because of my allergies. The most important thing to us about Oregon Connections Academy is that we have the ability to be so involved in our children's education. We live in a small rural town on a farm and um, so our access to all the educational choices of somebody who lives in a big city are it's limited. I had a 12 year old student enroll in my honors biology class, a student who's, who's incredibly academically gifted uh, but, but probably would feel intimidated in a group of, of uh, 15 and 16 year old students. I like about ORCA is I get to do fun things in math and do fun things in language arts and all that kind of stuff. This has been excellent for us. What do you think? I think we'll, I'm probably going to at ORCA for high school. Yeah, think so? So what are you going to do after you graduate from high school? Encourage them to make an orchid college. <laughs> <laughs> I love school so much, I don't want to go away. I, I don't know what I'd do if there wasn't orca because um, I would just be forced to put my kids back in the school that wasn't serving them and to me felt like, you know, didn't care about them. And so it's really the only option for us right now. Oregon Connections Academy's future is in jeopardy and over 2,000 Oregon families are depending on you to help them have continued access to a high quality public education. So on behalf of the Oregon Connections Academy School Board, our administrators, teachers, parents and students, we thank you for your continued support. <laughs>